Hello, welcome to my series about shop and mazurkas. Uh, as you can see, I'm extremely happy because today we focus on mazurka opus 24 number 2 in C major, which has this mood, which <laughs> I'm showing you now. It's extremely happy and uh, full of uh, fun and jokes. Of course, uh, the C major is the, the, the main key without any flats or sharps, only white keys and everything is very simple and here we have uh, definitely um, well at the beginning we have a kind of introduction which is uh, imitation of folk group playing right uh, in, in, a, in all, uh, other mazurkas we had the same thing but what is so special about it is that this is not on three but on two and uh, very often happens that a pianist make a mistake a kind of misunderstanding and they try to play on three one two three one two three one two three one two three which is absolutely wrong we have one two one two one two one two one two one two and uh, well i think it's good to kind of emphasize it course or not too much but thinking about it very much you know and then we come to melody it's a little bit like birds right like birds singing very very special it's also pianistically a little bit difficult it has to be played sotto voce very very soft um, so um, again here we don't really have uh, something on three we have in the left hand just chords here starts something else but this is uh, uh, there it doesn't has a dance uh, character it's more like the flute you know the flute on the field is playing maybe Chopin is, is imitating the flute some shepherd playing for uh, the animals for the sheep and anyway uh, of course if Chopin wants like this he cannot use only right hand because for piano it doesn't sound well uh, he needs something so he decided to make this kind of background folk background and that's how it sounds but then uh, we have after that we have the dance important to emphasize the end of this phrase to make three later that makes it very folk very it, we we polish people we almost want to dance when we hear this you know very very nice uh, way of um, imitating polish folk dance um, This rhythm is very creative here. We have tam ta ta tam tam ta ta tam and then ta ta tam ta ta tam pam pam. So it's like a stretto at the end, right? Stretto, what I mean by saying stretto is uh, like, well, in a way faster, faster, faster or more and more narrow. Uh, we would say we are somewhere and then it's getting more and more narrow here rhythmically narrow so well i will explain it to you i will try to explain it to you as clear as i can uh, and as in as easy words as i can uh, how to make it more narrow uh, well uh, here we have long uh, long notes and short notes um, we have 
we have like one one long, then two two short, and then a long one, and again long one, and then again short ones. So we have two long and two short. Tam ta ta pam pam pa pa pam. One, uh, it's like this. One, one two one. Two, one, two, one, two. Now I think I'm clear. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. What I'm saying is that there are two and two. So it's it's rather wide because we have the space between short and long. But then Chopin is changing. He's only using one uh, long note, and that it makes it more narrow. So we have uh, ta, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. One to one, one to one to three. One to one, one to one to three. And that's how. Let, listen. One. Very creative way, very fantastic, and I can feel that Chopin had a very good mood actually when he composed this. And then after that, we have a, my favorite part. We change the key to F major, but it's a folk. Uh, folk um, uh, folk tonality, I would say. Fol it's not really a f a w something that our ear is used to. Listen. There is one note here which doesn't suit. This one. It should be... Then it will be okay. Listen. Should be like this. This would be very natural, but it's not. It's a and that doesn't sound well for our ear, but it is very typical folk. And here, for the first time in this mazurka, we have the one, two, three rhythm of mazur. One, two, three, one, two, three. Or even oberek. I think it's even oberek because the right hand has this. This is an oberic like way of dancing. So and the second time, the same thing, but Chopin writes rubato, which of course, as you know from my, if you listen to my uh, earlier uh, earlier video about Opus 24 number one, it means just do whatever you want and whatever you feel with the rhythm. So we need to be very free. And come back to the beginning. a very funny part where in my imagination this is like a wedding party and you know in Poland in the wedding parties we always have some kind of a place right I don't know if I use a good word for that just like people have well there is it's not dancing but there is something is going on we have the people are playing and they are creating a, a, a many di different way of playing sometimes they're the place with music, sometimes without music, and, but it's always very funny and it's fun for people. And here we have this kind of way that they are a group of five men. They, they, they ask five men in the middle of the circle. All the guests of wedding party are in the circle. There are five men. They come. And this is the man. I mean, this motif pre represents these five men. And it repeats one, two, three four times and then there is a bride a beautiful charming uh, young just married woman girl and she is like a flower she is so beautiful and so light and she is dancing so delicate and then they are disturbing her interrupting 
by this bum bum bum. Listen to this. Now we have. And then suddenly a groom is coming. So the her husband. He came maybe to rescue her or whatever. But he he just came here and then he he starts to sink well sink or thinking and this this one moment in this mazurka is more melancholic just listen to it is very special this melody must be played a little with more melancholic way uh, and and of course this is still a little bit dancing but not too much because the right hand we have the same hidden here right so again the, the left hand has the freedom is very similar to the end which already happened in opus 17 number 4 when we have the same at the end that it was at the beginning which comes from the poetry uh, the same sentence at the beginning of the poem and at the end of the poem but here it's more refined it's more uh, sophisticated because here Chopin puts two group of people women and men and they are having a kind of play in this is a called echo play so the women are singing something the men are singing it exactly the same way but very silently so just listen woman. now men now women finish like this so it's a very funny mazurka and actually also number three is very charming so these mazurkas are uh, definitely not that sad like we have at the end of opus 17 uh, it always makes me well it actually makes me feel of Mozart when when I, I, I play this mazurka number two uh, it's, it's it's as as fresh as happy like Mozart music Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I invite you for my next series. We will continue with the um, next two uh, mazurkas from Opus 24 next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.